Well, with the pandemic and so many restrictions centered on staying home and away from family members, it can be easy to feel the holiday blues this year. I recently chatted with Tony Stevens, who's a licensed clinical social worker with Health First. She says they have really focused on telling people to lower their expectations this holiday season and find ways to include your family in some new traditions. Do those drive bys you know, hi, you know, stay in your car, um, you know, if, if there are any gifts or cards, you know, drop them off in the front of the house, get back in your car. Um, I had a, um, a cousin who made cookies with, you know, three of her family members in different states, but they got on, you know, Zoom or FaceTime or something. Um, they did something like that. So, you know, when the kids are opening presents, you know, get people on the line to watch it there. Um, those are just some ways that we can stay connected with each other and, and check in with each other too. Now, she also says taking note of what we can be grateful for this year, possibly in a gratitude journal at night, can improve your mental health. But if you still need help, it's important that you get it. Another one that we also talk to our clients about is just practice gratitude. Mm -hmm. You know, and not looking at what are those things we can't do. Let's look at those things that we can do. You know, we can talk to family on the phone. Um, our families are safe. Um, if they have had the virus, they survived the virus. But look, you know, practicing those things that we can do instead of looking at what we can't do, because that can be really, really helpful too. This virus really has contributed to um, depression, um, anxiety. Um, things are being forced on us that, you know, we haven't had before, being told to stay in your home, wearing a mask, social distancing, all these things that we aren't used to. And so it has contributed to a lot of um, folks, uh, depression increasing. If they've already been depressed, it's going to start to show itself now or, you know, when the pandemic started. And same thing with anxiety, you know, um, being told to stay in your house and not being able to go out because of, you know, of possibly getting the virus and that could be really um anxious for a lot of folks who have major medical maybe even minor medical problems um but we're finding that other people are getting this virus as well that don't have those medical issues so it's really scary and and that contributes to people's anxiety so Tony says, once you start challenging your negative thoughts, you can make changes and you can work through them, but it does take work. I think what's important is that they be able to share that and um, feel the sense of safety and security that um, they can share it with people that they have had those losses because a lot of people don't want to talk about loss. You know, it's, it's, it's taboo. And yet, you know, having so many losses throughout the year, but just being able to tell someone what you've lost. And then, so how, how can we recover? What are those things that we can do um, to help get people back on track? And it's definitely something that Tony's been working with a lot of people on. Uh, she wants everyone to know that if you do need help, you should reach out and talk to a licensed mental health counselor. It does make a huge difference. Also, just talk to people around you. Like she said, share how you're feeling. It does make a difference. Justin? You never know what someone's going through. Maybe a simple hello, how you doing, right. makes the difference. All right, good stuff. Thank you.